Did I ever tell you about... Yes. You don't know what I was going to say. I do. I've heard all your stories twice. No, you haven't. I have. There's one I've never told you. Go on, then. I can't. It's a secret. Suit yourself. Oh, I suppose I could tell. As long as you promise you won't tell no one else. It's about the time when I was a secret agent. It all started in the casino under the stairs. Snap. It's not fair, Mr. Sproutfinger. I never win. That's because he's cheating. Who are you? The name's Bear. Teddy Bear. I should warn you not to take this any further, Mr. Bear. And let you get away with it. He was cheating. Hardball. Only a very foolish toy called Sproutfinger a cheat. You will regret this, Mr. Bear. Oh, you're so brave. Yeah. I have to be in my job. What's that? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. By the way, I'm pigtails galore. And I'm late. Teddy, you're late. You've been keeping the whole of the Toy Secret Service waiting. I've been busy. And who was the lucky doll? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Hmm. Em's waiting for you. Thanks, money box. I want you to watch this film, Teddy. You've got a telly. Right. Some toy has been buying up large stocks of sprouts from shops and markets all around the world. Oh, I hate sprouts. Would you stop interrupting? The same toy has also bought up huge numbers of rockets. We've discovered who he is. Sprout finger. Exactly. The worst behaved toy in the world. Your mission is to find out what he's up to and to stop him. I've always thought you were pretty well equipped, but M wants you to have these. This may look like a bow tie, but press the middle and it turns into a pair of water wings. This pen turns into a rocket pack. Not now! This hat turns into a bush disguise, and this pocket radio turns into a packet of sausages. Why do I need that? Well, you never can tell when it might come in handy. Finally, here's a watch. What's that do? It tells the time. So from now on, you've got no excuse for being late. Next day, I arrived on Sproutfinger's private island. But I was tired after a long journey. <sighs> Towers galore. What are you doing here? After you'd gone, I felt sorry for Sprout Finger. And when he invited me to his island, I really couldn't say no. Why are you here? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Suit yourself. Boy, you've got to watch that Sprout Finger. Why? For a start, he cheats at Snap. And then there's the Sprouts. Sprouts? Yeah, he's got loads of them. So you better watch out. I will. <laughs> that must be Sproutfinger's secret headquarters. But how do I get in? Oh, no! What are you doing, Miss Galore? Nothing. Good. Please stay away from that door in future. Teddy? I opened the gate for you. You might have told me. You didn't tell me you were trying to get in. It was a secret. I've got a secret too. There's this huge room and it's full of sprouts. 
We need to get there quick, then. Follow me. It's this way. Oh, no, it's the dogs. I'll handle this. Doesn't seem to be working. What? It's not working. I can't get it to work. Give it to me. This way. Hold on. I'm the secret agent. I'm in charge here. So, you're a secret agent. Shh. That's supposed to be a secret. The room full of sprouts is down here. It's Sprout Finger. In here. We are approaching zero hour, Oddball. Achoo! Mr. Bear, Miss Galore, what an unpleasant surprise. This is all your fault. The leaves are tickling my nose. Nonetheless, I am delighted you could join us. I have a little treat in store for you. Some other time. Run! Come on! Don't open that door. <laughs> Oddball, take them to the rocket bay. Each one of these rockets is loaded with a megaton of sprouts. They are targeted on every playground in the Western world. In one minute, I will fire them. But why? To stop children being horrible to gongs. <laughs> they laugh at us. But that is all going to change. I will bombard them with sprouts till they learn to love gonks. You'll never get away with this, Sprout Finger. You're in no position to stop me, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. Oddball, start the countdown. I've got my arms free. Don't say anything and don't sneeze. I wasn't going to. <clears throat> right. Now, I'll deal with that Sprout Finger. How are you going to do that? I'll use my pen. Write him a rude letter? No. What then? I can't tell you, it's a secret. Be kind to him, Teddy. You're joking. I'm licensed to kill. With your pen? You'll see. What about me? I'll be back. Five, four, three, two... Stop! You are too late, Mr. Bear! now. You've broken all my rockets. You don't need rockets. Firing sprouts into playgrounds isn't going to make children like you. They'll be so scared of me, they will have to like me. You could just try being friendly. It doesn't work. I've tried it. It does. You just need to try harder. Why not start with me and Teddy? We'll be your friends. No, you won't. Yes, we will. We really like you. Teddy's even got a present for you. No, I haven't. Your watch. I'm not giving him that. Go on. Uh, here. Oh, oh, thank you. It doesn't fit. You put it on your wrist. See? Friends can help you with all sorts of things. So, we all ended up friends. Until he started cheating at Snap again. But that's another story. What happened to the beautiful pigtails galore? I never said she was beautiful. I bet she was. Beautiful, clever, brave. Hold on, it's my story. Then tell me what happened to her. I can't. Why not? It's a secret. <laughs> Sprouts! 
I hate sprouts.